probably I think better than probably anyone thinks is possible. How much can you talk about that right now? I don't want to jump the gun on that. Um, but what's like the ultimate? What's what's the idea behind it? Like, what are you trying to accomplish with it? Like, what would you like? Best case scenario. I think best case scenario we effectively merge with AI, uh, where we AI is, serves as a tertiary cognition layer, uh, where we've got the limbic system, um, kind of the you know, primitive brain essentially. You've got the cortex. So you're you're currently in a symbiotic relationship. Your, with your cortex and limbic system are in a symbiotic relationship, and generally people like their cortex and they like their limbic system. I haven't met anyone who wants to delete their limbic system or delete their cortex. Everybody seems to like both. And the cortex is mostly in service to the limbic system. People may think that 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 their that the thinking part of themselves is in charge, but it's mostly their limbic system that's in charge. And the cortex is trying to make the limbic system happy. That's what most of that computing power is oriented towards. How can I make the limbic system happy? That's what it's trying to do. Now, if, if we do have a third layer, which is the AI extension of yourself, that is also symbiotic. Um, and there's enough bandwidth between the cortex and the AI extension of yourself such that the AI doesn't de, de facto separate, then that could be a good outcome. That could be quite a positive outcome for the future. So instead of replacing us, it will radically change our capabilities. Yes.